Tick tock, tick tock, da da da. On the hey, internet. And on the internet, I'm talking to you, Instagram. It's me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the trains to bed. Well, on the move, on the move, on the move, right? Uh, I'm in Cape Town. I'm in the Cape Town train station. I'm going to kiss. Now they have all the new train. They're going to be on a new train, you know, like that. Things change. Evolution. I'm an evolutionary, so I know about this kind of thing. Anyway, here's the deal. So I had to get some things straight here with the immigration people because my permanent, res my permanent residency still ha hasn't come through. However, and I had to, I, I thought I had to get a, uh, anyway, don't worry about that stuff. You'll learn about it sooner or later or not. Or I'll learn about it sooner or later or not because I got to go to India. By the way. So this is a Wednesday, by the way, which means it's world kind of day, you know. Uh, you know, yesterday, Tuesday was a U.S. kind of day, you know, policy stuff like that. And uh, Mondays is me day. And these are the tirades I'm talking about. Uh, Thursday is audio drama day. Uh, Friday is uh, um, wrap up of the week, whatever I forget during the week. Saturdays, whatever comes to my head. And Sundays is like, I usually do some reading and then, you know, expels on the reading. Okay, look. Here, yeah, I had to go to that because these are tea tie rates. And remember, so yesterday was, was US Day. Hey, what happened to US? It was elections. Hey, congratulations. The uh, 47th president of the United States of North America has been, uh, uh, how do you say, elected. Strangely enough, not strangely enough, but he is also the 45th president of the United States. That's historic. <laughs> oh, I told you all. Never mind. Look. And, uh, Stevie Wonder, Helen Keller, you know, Jose Feliciano, they all could see what was going to happen. There's only some delusional people that didn't think that Donald Trump was going to be the next president of the United States or the, the, re, the recurred president of the United States. So that's done. But here's the problem. Not, here's the situation. Remember, I'm an internationalist, you know, and, uh, and, and, uh, and, what happens is when you have the U.S. elections, all the people that vote, they use it to, they're talking about, too strict about the U.S. Only a few political people understanding about how, how, to, how the president has ramifications for the world. But usually you, you vote your own interest. You know, namely, I guess, you know, it's always the economy trying to make money because you live in a capitalist society. And uh, in this particular time, uh, that, that money was affected by, you know, people pouring over the border and, and uh, it, it's, but they'll do a postmortem and people will tell you what happened, right? It was hilarious to me because if you thought, I told people before, I want to know what the, the female breakdown was, especially the white women, right? The reason why I say that is because it was the white women who elected Donald Trump back there over Hillary Clinton because they were saying, well, yeah, we want a woman, just not that woman. You see, that's what happens. Okay. So my my interest is the is the is the world. When the train station. The uh, train from Cape Town to Barbell, by Oh, that's my train. Yeah. That's train number two, train train right there. Okay. The 1250 train from Cape Town yeah. to Barbell, by Monte Vista, will depart from platform 21. Yes. Let me see, train train see what time it is. I don't want to miss this train. train from Cape Town 43, to it's at 12.50. Maybe I should go train into the train or continue this in the train. Taxi to uh, Somerset West. I need to be there before, I guess, three o'clock, so I get where I'm going. But uh, okay, as I was saying, as I was saying, so we took. I, I did. What's the ramifications of the world now? There is a thing. Is he going to do? Now remember, Donald Trump was the only, I guess, the only president who wasn't a, a strict politician or a or, or a military person. You're a businessman, so. 
That's why they can't predict what he's going to do because he has he, he doesn't have a history of being in pockets or whatever have you or his other pockets. But in the world stage, you know, what I mean, he hasn't really traveled the world. He hasn't traveled the world a lot, not that I know. So he might still take the advice of these people, you know, who want to whatever. But let me put this way: the Gaza thing, the whole thing, that's going to end. Not for him. Just it's just a natural. It's going to go. Uh, the whole thing you claim. That's going to be done by the time he's in office. So that's that's good. Hold on a second. I got to pick this up so we can walk to the uh, ah, walk to the train. Get in the train. Um. So all, so all that's happening. I'll put my leg over here. Ah. So so my concern is is the world because you know you have what's happening up there in the the, the Sahel region because uh, uh, it's just been announced that that Mali there. Um, they're, well, they're, 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 they're no longer in debt. Oh, people not in there yet. Well, they're, anyway, they're no longer in debt. Well, so that's good, you know. And, and um, I think who else? Oh, Senegal has basically uh, uh, throw their lot in with them. Uh, Kino Faso, as you as you know, with the, I call him Commander Ibrahim, but I know it's Captain Trevor, which is kind of interesting because. He's, they say he's the poorest president because he didn't take he, he doesn't take the presidential salary, he takes the uh, his captain's salary, which is which is also good because that means you know they're still in battle and he wears that's that's nothing I really appreciate. He wears uh, in other words, he knows he's still at war, so he wears the military uniform. Huh? Think about that. He ain't dressed up in the suits trying to be. Uh, European, you know, or col col colonialists, you know what I mean? So that's uh, that's all how we say uh, 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 good, but now here's the problem. They're gonna lose, you know, the powers that be, the colonizers, uh, it's not just uh, France, but that stuff goes all over the place. Uh, they they don't like this, you know? So we'll see if, um, what's the name, if, if the Donald is gonna, what he's gonna do. Right? Is he going to do the bidding of the colonizers and try to uh, do something with, the, with uh, uh, Mali and Niger and Bikir Faso and Senegal or whatever have you? We don't know. That's where the Africans, they better, they better get their act together, you know, and say, yo, you ain't going to bother this brother. You ain't going to bother this situation, and which means you got to get rid of all those <laughs> those Afropeans, just like we had the ne Negro Peans in, in, the, uh, in the election. You got to get rid, rid of those. Afropeans, so they'll start doing the bidding of the peoples. That's that's what we have to look for. And uh, and I'm so, uh, I, I weep, I weep alligator tears for all you delusional uh, folks that thought that Kamala Harris was going to do something. Nah, it was, well, I say do something like win. Look, like I said, I'm sorry for you, but uh, we'll talk again. And oh, the train just opened up. Let's go on the train so you can see what the train looks like. These are the new trains, the old trains. See in the back, I don't know if you see the back there. That's the old trains back there. See the yellow, like that. And the new trains are here like that. Yeah. Uh, so, these are the new trains. See, they're blue, like that. Let me talk to this brother. What do you need? What's, what's up? Talk, tell me. This is going to Belleville. Yeah. Okay. This is so interesting. This happens to me all the time. People ask me for information. I don't know why they do that. Like I'm supposed to know something. I, this happens all over the world. Believe me. When I say all over the world, I mean, I, it just happens. People, do I do I look like Mr. Information? Sometimes I'm thinking, how oh, y'all doing? So, um, so it's kind of, I don't know. I guess it had that vibe. <laughs> the information vibe. <laughs> Just like I have the other vibe. What's the other vibe? The um, uh, the uh, uh, artist vibe. I mean, it's, it's warm in this train here. Let me, oh, maybe I should go to the back because I'm going to go out the other way. I don't want to go the front way. I'm going to go out the other way when I get to Belleville. Uh, no, but the taxis are this way when I get to Belleville. Uh, let me go back this way. Okay, so, um, so, so that's it. I'm tired. I'm just, Talk to you all. We're finished. Oh, it's nice and breezy here. We're going this nice car here like that. So you can walk all the way through these cars. No more whatever. So you can have spacious things. They have 
guards all over, so, so it's safe these days. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so let me uh, park myself over here, and uh, I'll talk to y'all. I'll talk to y'all another time. All right? Ooh, we're leaving. Ooh. Got to go. Got to go. Got to go.